Welcome to the gap. This is the gap. Yeah. They should have never gave you a platform. Man, I think it's a gender war going on. A black gender war. What the f man? Jeez. Oh my god, bro. All this stuff I'm seeing, bro. I'm just like. Alright. This is my thing. I'm watching from both sides. I'm watching this lady named Cynthia G. She's a black female YouTuber, got great numbers, and she talk about relationships. And then, you know, I also watch uh, Kevin Samuels. He's a uh, black male that has uh, great numbers on YouTube, and he's been doing it for a while. Uh, thing with Kevin Samuels, he was saying that he never really got really big on YouTube until he started talking to black women you know what i mean cynthia g talks to black women both them motherfuckers at times i'll just be like man oh, damn bro they're entertaining though them niggas is comical in my opinion and they both bring up great points when it comes to like relationships or like what what's going on when it comes to black people within relationships, they bring up great points, but sometimes they be on the board. Bullshit. You feel me? And like, I f with Kevin Samuels. Hell, I just started recently watching Cynthia G. You know, I started watching her like three weeks ago. I kind of f with her too. What I don't f with with Cynthia G, this whole thing about watching black women create black babies for black men. Nigga, are you serious? Are you trying to be the black Hitler right now? Are you You're promoting genocide at this point. You saying that black women stop creating black men babies. Stupid. That's a dumb point. That's the only graph I got with her. A lot of things she talk about be making sense. Like, you know, black men since I'm not being assertive or they be sometimes on the bullshit. I agree with that. I get you. All right, you know, and the whole thing was like, you know, black men are, I can't say black men. Let's just say most black men. We're going to generalize because sometimes the, what Kevin Samuels and, and Cynthia G be talking about, I'll be like, I don't fit in that category. And I'm a black man. I'm a proud one at that. <laughs> yeah, nigga, get the giggity. I love my black women. I mean, get the fuck out of here, that bullshit that they used to film, but. Cynthia G be saying that black men are showing black women, or are they saying the, the black men that's sort of in high value and shit like that are going towards other race of women. So she's saying, damn, if they don't want us, fuck them. And I'm just like, oh, bro, they're, they're more average black men than there are black men of higher value and of lower value. That's even a thing at this point. <laughs> Uh, but it's always the, the highest, the creme de la creme of the black man that these motherfuckers worry about. And it's like, dog, why? Why? That, that's them. That, they grew up in the, sometimes they grow up in an environment where they didn't really see black people. Or, or the thing that they see of black people is the demonstrative shitty side of black people bruh so i i give out that i just don't like the whole black men don't deserve black babies by black women yo shut that bull malarkey up please damn damn cynthia g everything else cool that's that shit with kevin samuels i'll be agreeing with a lot of points the brother be saying what I don't agree with sometimes is sometimes he don't be letting like black women get their point fully across sometimes. I'll be noticing that. I'll be like, yeah, girl. Let her either let her finish out her point or help guide her to the point that she's trying to get to. Sometimes he be just cutting their ass off. I'll be like, God damn. Giggity. But that tone shit that they be complaining about shut the hell up with the tone who cares about our tone i don't be giving a damn about the tone the shit be crazy the tone tonality i don't i can't hear 
My ears are bleeding. Yo, man. Shut that up. But that be my only gripe when it comes to Kevin Samuels. And it don't even only be like women he do that to. He be doing that to men too. Like black men and shit. He be like cutting them off. You know, you know, and sometimes they do need to be cut off, but sometimes I be like sitting there, I be listening, I'm like, okay, they're coming up with a great point, and they get cut off, and it's just like, bro, just guide them to the point, at least, jeez, be cutting their ass off quickly, I'll be like, god damn, but he do it in a comical way, so, <laughs> I'm like, bro, he cut them off so quickly, but, at the same time, it's like, when we come to these platforms, we have to be aware that they're doing this for entertainment purposes. They're doing this to keep people engaged. They even know it. It's like, I feel that sometimes they probably don't want to be talking like this, but people won't hear you if you're not making like some theatrics behind it. You feel me? That's what they're doing is theatrics. And it's like, some people are like, oh, it's harsh. But it's like, would you really listen to Cynthia G or Kevin Samuels if they wasn't harsh with their points? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> but at the same I just feel like I'm noticing what's getting pushed out there when it comes to these platforms, when it comes to black people, is this gender war bullshit. It's this whole, it seems like we all hate each other. And it's Bull malarkey. That's not true. That is not true. I hate that messaging behind all this shit. It seems like we all hate each other. And we don't. Damn. That makes no goddamn sense. And that's why if you, you got to go there with listening ears. Because I think at the end of the day, they don't hate each other. It really... They really want to build up the black community. It's just, you know, you know how fucking black people be sometimes. These motherfuckers be wanting to hear the raunchy shit. That's what they come around for, bruh. And then hopefully you out there, the pack that you bring along, you feel me, you have some people to actually listen to what's going on. But this gender war, war shit that's going on, oh my God, bro. It, um, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta look at shit better bro we gotta use more critical thinking when it comes to this shit bro and it's like i noticed from both platforms it's like bro it's just is it's not them itself it's the audience they be <laughs> hateful sometimes sometimes it be comical ha 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 yeah y'all niggas are comical bro <laughs> for real but sometimes i'm just like bro this is just y'all are just on some and shit like what happened to y'all uh, y'all need a giggity hug do you damn i could be on that shit too where i could be like oh women ain't shit bro they blah 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 no it ain't they <laughs> fault what the <laughs> deal i look at it like just with black women it's like bro i could be like yo black women no no, look within, see what you doing, and work that shit out. And let's be real. Do we not forget that women are humans, right? They're our other half, right? We be around a bunch of plenty of niggas that do shit and be on the things at times, right? So there's going to be women like that out there too. But then we bump into niggas and people that that's real good people, you feel me? Black black men. But men of all sectors of race and ethnicity. We bump into some good motherfuckers, right? We gonna do that with women too! Damn! Stop getting grumpy about your damn situations and Lord. anecdotal bullshit! Cause I could be like that too and I'm like, nah bro, it's good. It's, it's some good women out there, for real. I fucked up. I done fucked up at times. It's okay. They fucked up too. It's cool. This hate shit, this gender war shit between black people and this black gender war shit. We got it. We got it. I don't know, man. This shit. 
This shit getting irritating, bruh. I see it all through the medias of the socials. I see I see how shit getting promoted through just all through our culture, bruh. It's giggity. It's bull malarkey. God damn. Get it together, people. <laughs> man. Don't worry about this, man. This motherfucking gender war and then like this war between Ukraine and Russia and America. Man. No. At the end of the day, my solution is this, man. When it comes to this black gender war thing. One, I see why it's being spewed and being promoted. Because at the end of the day, they don't want to see the black family together. Let's be real. They don't want that. They don't want us with that power. Ooh, <laughs> we got that type of power and had that type of dynamic thing. It's over. <laughs> Two, I see how like it it gets promoted and the numbers go up and how we're so engaged in this and seeing the fighting and we just love it, the drama that brings behind it. <laughs> Bullshit. But also. When it comes to this gender gender war shit, it also lets me know that accountability is not taken by all sides. Men and f women don't want to take accountability for shit. That's what I'm f calculating. And so I made my account. I'm like, no f that. I'll take accountability for my actions, for who I hang around, and what the hell is going around. You feel me? So when it comes to this gender war shit, people out there, I ain't saying don't listen to Kevin Sims. I ain't saying don't listen to Cynthia G. God damn it, I'm gonna keep listening to both them funny motherfuckers. God damn, they be hilarious. And they break up, they bring up great points. But some things they talk about be Force. bullshit. And I don't like it. And I'm tell I told you what it was. But listen, use your ears to listen and stop. Bringing what happened to you and your experiences and just blaming it on everybody. All right. With that being said, I feel my solution is accountability on everybody. God damn it. I'm tired of seeing this black gender war shit and I'm tired of people using Kevin Samuels and Cynthia G's as a motherfucking scapegoat of why they <laughs> be like, oh, that's why I do this, and it ain't anywhere on it, why I do this. Shut the f up and take accountability, you motherfuckers. Shit. Get this goddamn black gender war out of here. I wanna see more black love, motherfuckers. Shit.